I remember it like yesterday, uh, going into that final week 18 in 2001 in the Circa Millions 3. Okay, I started, I, I remember I printed everything out, I had it down in front of me, and I looked at everybody that was up above me, and how can I gain some ground on these guys? How can I get up to where I need to be to, in order to hit a big check like this one behind me? And I'll tell you what I did is... Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I'm Kelly Stewart here with my good friend, Jeff Ketch. And as you can tell by the giant check behind his head, he has a very storied history with winning Las Vegas contest. 325,000 was split up in the last one when he tied for first place, 63 and 27. As you can also tell, he's wearing a green jacket. That comes from Matt Eumann's Friday Football Invitational on Beeson. He was the winner of that one last season. His lifetime record in the contest, 215, 129, and 11. That is 62%. Jeff and I are talking today about what you need to know before you enter a Vegas contest. We have three strategies coming in hot. Oh, Kelly, I mean, I honestly believe that this first one's real important here. And, and it's a hard one because who doesn't love action on a Thursday night, right? I mean, let's jumpstart the week. Let's get that W. And let's go into Sunday being up 1-0, you know, one win going into Sunday. But here's the problem with that, is that if you take a side on Thursday, you have to put in all four other of your plays. So now all five of your plays you have to put in have to go in on Thursday. And then what does that mean? That means that you miss the most important report that comes out. It's the final injury report that comes out on Friday at 3 o'clock east. This, it's going to tell you. Who was a full participant in practice? Who was limited and who was held out? I mean, that's a valuable, serious, valuable information there that you really can't pass up by playing that Thursday game. So myself, I always try to wait until the very last, last minute to put in my plays. And if any of you people out there are using proxies, I always recommend to buy their highest package. Spend an extra buck, buck and a half on their premium package instead of buying the silver or the gold the premium will allow you to put your place in a little bit later. You never know what information comes in on Saturday morning, Saturday early afternoon, and that could be the difference between a W and an L. That is a very good one, Jeff. That is one of my favorites. I always try to avoid Thursday night football. Jeff, the next one gets me, well, every single week. I overthink the dreaded hook. If the market's sitting at seven and the contest line seven and a half, or if the market's sitting at seven and the contest line sitting at six and a half it just puts my brain in a pretzel obviously we know how important three is in the nfl so when it's three and a half i'm just like all right i've had enough i am not overthinking it but you think that i'm wrong because everybody apparently thinks that way you know the reality is here kelly is that the lines in the contest lines they are what they are you and i can't go out and shop and get a better number because we just don't have that option and I realize I might take a little bit of slack on this because we know 15% of NFL games that, just, that are decided exactly by three. I think it's around 9% that are decided by seven, okay? And I'm not telling people to go out and play a stale line at three and a half when you could go to another shop and get it at three. I'm not saying that. What I am saying, though, is that in the contest, we're stuck with the number. And there's a lot of contestants that you're going up against that will fear, just like you, Kelly, will fear a stale line. Some will stay away. Some might even go opposite of it. And I feel like that's where you can gain a little bit of separation from your competitor. Jeff, this is why you're the best. That's exactly what you want to be able to do, is sometimes you need to zig when others zag. Last but not least, this one's very interesting. And I'm sure that you may have been guilty of it before, which is why it's your number three reason or excuse me, third strategy in regards to playing in these contests, do not leaderboard watch. How? That's impossible. The suspense would be killing me. I, I do the survivor contest. I do the pick fives, and I'm late into the season. I'm like, okay, what is this other guy going to play? It's been a long time, Jeff, and I know this video is about you, but I did win the mini contest. I went 15 and the last week in the Westgate Super Contest. And yes. that last, my, uh, that almost killed me those last five after being n and o was almost the death of me so how in the world right. do you expect people not to overthink this oh my goodness kelly it just i remember it like yesterday uh going into that final week 18 in 2001 in the circa millions three 
Okay. I started, I, I remember I printed everything out. I had it down in front of me and I looked at everybody that was up above me. And how can I gain some ground on these guys? How can I get up to where I need to be to, in order to get a big check like this one behind me? And I'll tell you what I did is I started breaking down. Okay. Well, he, he took this team and he likes, it. and I took about 10 minutes, man. And I just ripped the damn thing up. I'm like, you know what? I decided right then and there. I've got to trust what has got me here to this point. I cannot make any changes to my approach of what I do. I'm going to let my opponents make their changes to their approach, and I'm going to continue doing what I do. And lo and behold, fast forward for the end of the week, I ended up 5-0 and that week in week 18. Took down 325000 Kelly, and the rest is history. Do you want to tell us about why you didn't win the million? Thanks, Kelly. You know, I was really having a blast with you. That and then you got to bring up the I mean, damn time breaker. Why, why do you got to bring it up? I, I, okay. So I, I honestly couldn't even tell you what the tiebreaker was because I've tried to erase it from my memory. But I will tell you, I will admit to the fact that I've had dreams at some point of getting into a DeLorean and turning that sucker up to 88 miles per hour and going back to before week 18 and hiring ty- uh, Tanya Harding's hitman to take out a Derbify, <laughs> a.k.a. Uh, Tony Gordon, who's the guy that took down the million and, and it took the million from me. So uh, that is a joke, but <laughs> I felt that way. Oh, my gosh. I thought you were going to say you would have picked a different game. I can't. No, I'm going to take him out. I was 5-0. and oh. We had to take him out. I had, I had to stop him from putting plays in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he would have had to have a zero that week. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Jeff. Jeff Patch and I are going to have a really fun NFL season. He is new to Wager Talk, so the month of September for his NFL package is $99. It is up on his page right now at wagertalk.com. Jeff and I are going to be doing an NFL show as well, so make sure you guys head over to Wager Talk TV and check that out.